All right, man, let's talk about Terrell Pryor. Everybody here I'm talking about is innocent until proven guilty. All this is alleged until it becomes factual, but Terrell Pryor is in stable condition. He's 30 years old. He's an NFL free agent, and but he has been arrested for simple assault. His, uh, you know, person that he threw down with, Shalea Brinston, she is alleged uh, to be um, the person he had a dispute with, 24 years old from Pennsylvania. She got hit with a criminal attempt, homicide, and aggravated assault charge. Okay, so the district attorney in uh, Pennsylvania or Pittsburgh has chosen to charge both uh, people involved. Let's talk a little bit about the story. We're back. Good Phyllis Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Prior 30 years old, uh, the lady is Shalea Brinston is 24 years old. And right now, all we know is, and I'll link the article in the description, you can read it for yourself on the article link, is they got into a dispute. And uh, Shalea, she uh, had injuries as well. So I don't know who started it or, you know, obviously she finished it with the knife. But um, he's just been charged with simple assault. But he's in a stable condition. He was in critical condition after being stabbed in the shoulder and in the chest. So don't know what the the dispute was over with after the next coming after a couple of weeks or maybe even a couple of days. We hear what it was over with, but it was in the Heinz Lofts apartment uh, somewhere near Pittsburgh or in Pittsburgh, and they got into a dispute. And uh, she had injuries, so they already detained her and asked her what happened. I don't know if he got caught cheating or. You know, or whatever the situation was, they had a dispute in. That's what happened in relationships. You know, disputes happen. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't arguing in your relationship, then somebody really don't care for you or y'all don't care for one each other like that. It happens. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, don't know what the dispute was over with. But maybe he, you know, it, it ended up with him putting his hands on her or she put his hands on him. And then they just started going at it. And she felt that she needed to get a weapon to defend herself. Because once again, he is pretty much an active NFL player, but being a free agent, Terrell Pryor, 6'5", 6'6", 200 some pounds. But, you know, the best thing to do is just walk away. If you feel like you got to hit one of each other or shit to the point where you got to pick up a weapon or you got to get a weapon, you know, you should walk away. But you don't know. He, she could have been cornered. They could have been in the room with the door locked, whatever situation was. But, you know, somebody was there uh, to really save her bacon and save his bacon to rush him to the hospital. Had he not been able to make it to the hospital, she could have been looking at a uh, attempted mur a murder charge, a, a hardcore murder charge. But I have to see the way the facts come out. But the district attorney, they decided to, char to charge both of them. As soon as he was in stable condition and probably able to to lift his hands up, or he was, you know, able to be discharged, um, they arrested him. So he's being detained. They got to hear his side of the story. Um, I don't know if it's a good time because we're actually getting stabbed in the shoulder and the chest. You know, he must be under a lot of medicine or a lot of drugs. So can he really give you a, a straight story and can that be used in court? You got to wait to his mind free and clear. But it's a serious, it's a serious matter. Um, unfortunately, domestic violent numbers continue to become higher and higher. It's continue to become an issue because of social media spreads it around. The Internet spreads it around. Um, so a lot of things could happen. She could have been in the right. He could have been in the right. Both of them could have kind of been the right. Both of them could have been wrong. Obviously, they was wrong to a certain extent. But, you know, for one thing, you're just happy that the brother made it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Don't know dispute. <clears throat> Excuse me. She cost her life. You know what I'm saying? And um, you live and you learn, man. Everybody go through ups and downs. But for her, she should be the one ecstatic, especially if it comes out that she wasn't in total self-defense. She should be ecstatic because that man died. She threw away her whole life. She's 24 years old. She don't even know what life is yet. You know, but, I, you know, you can look at a situation and say, oh, it's over a woman. Oh, he's paying attention to his PlayStation or she had another dude in my apartment. It could be over any anything. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, for her to pick up a, a, a weapon to stab him allegedly, then it was very, very serious, man. So um, square business. Happy that, you know, he made it. Uh, Terrell Pryor was a hell of an athlete um, from a long list of great athletes in the state of Pennsylvania. He came out of, I believe, um, from LeSean McCoy to, um, you know, Dan Marino and a lot of other guys, man. His career didn't really materialize the way that he thought it would be as a quarterback. Again, suspended from Ohio State. You know, then the Raiders give him a chance. Then he converted to a receiver and, you know, whatever it may be. But you got to remember, a lot of these football players deal with, you know, a uh, mental trauma, you know, mental trauma, well, trauma to the head and mental trauma too. 
Um, so anything can happen. I remember we had a guy out there in Ypsilanti, Michigan. I'm from Detroit. He's a former football player for Lions. He just jumped through the sliding doors at a grocery store. And nobody knew why. So it's a lot of things going on upstairs. But hopefully they figure it out. Hopefully they hash out a deal where nobody has to do serious jail time. And they can move on with their lives. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you got business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests, want to make a donation, link in the description. Best way to donate is share the video. Article link in the description. Let me know what you guys think. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. We gone.